Hey guys, so here's a quick video on how to download and install Mule Runtime on a Linux environment. So the first thing you want to do, of course, is get a version or a copy of the Mule Runtime. Um, the best place I've found to go ahead and grab a copy is from the documentation or link uh, from the documentation. If you go into docs.mulesoft.com and search for uh, download and install Mule, um, you'll bring, bring you to this page. Uh, and this will kind of, you know, give you kind of a, um, a walkthrough on how to set up uh, download and install it as well, but I usually like to see a visual uh, on how to how to go through the process. So the first thing, of course, is going to you're going to go ahead and click on this link and open up um, and download the Mule runtime. Um, one thing you want to make sure that you have installed in your Linux environment, of course, is OpenJDK. Um, you can go ahead and run uh, Java dash version to make sure that you have that installed first um, before you go ahead and run the install. So you can see I have Java already installed. So once you go ahead and download uh, the Mule for standalone runtime, let's go ahead and go through the process of setting that up and registering it with the AnyPoint platform. So the first thing we'll go ahead and do is unzip that project or that, that zip file. That's gonna go ahead and expand out all the files for the Mule runtime. Uh, one of the major benefits of the Mule runtime, of course, is that it doesn't require an app server or a database. There's no dependencies on any of those. So it's a simple matter of um, unzipping the Mule runtime, registering it with the server, and then spinning it up. Uh, additionally, this is a 30-day trial license. So once you do um, register and subscribe to the Anypoint platform, you can go ahead and, and get a license file to um, to run with Mule runtime. Okay. Okay, so it's uh, un un uh, unzip the, the project. Let's go ahead and look uh, at the folder here and go into that folder. So what we're gonna wanna ha go ahead and do is go into the bin folder. And then within your AnyPoint platform account, um, you can go ahead and sign up for account here as well. You're gonna go into Runtime Manager. And then over here on the left, go ahead and click on Servers. And you can see currently I don't have any servers registered. So what you're gonna do is click on add server and you're gonna go ahead and copy this command down. So you can go ahead and click on copy uh, clipboard and then we'll come back to the terminal window and we'll paste that in here. And then we're gonna change that last command server name to a name we want. So let's go, go ahead and change this to mule Linux. And what it's doing in the background is it's registering it with the AnyPoint platform and creating a server entry. So you can see once that's um, completed successfully, you're gonna go ahead and see Mule Agent configured successfully. So coming back over here, we'll close this little dialog window. You can see that a Mule, the, the Mule Linux was registered and currently it's created, but it hasn't been started. So what we can go ahead and do now is jump back to the terminal here. And in the same folder, let's go ahead and run Mule uh, start and this will go ahead and spin up and start the mule runtime okay so you can see it's running now if we come back over here you can see that it says running we can go ahead and click on manage server and have visibility into that mule runtime additionally we can click on dashboard okay and that's it if you have any questions or run into any issues don't hesitate to reach out i'm always here to help um, my next video is going to kind of run through the process of setting up any point monitoring with this meal runtime.